It can be pretty hard to tell what's under the deep blue water all around the world. The discoveries lurking beneath the surface all these years have been pretty incredible. In this video, we'll dive into some of the weirdest and most amazing things exposed by drought in receding water. From prehistoric tracks to treasure-filled tombs, here are 20 bizarre discoveries found in drained water bodies. Number 20. Prehistoric Dinosaur Tracks It's amazing what lies beneath the surface of our planet's water bodies. From lost treasures to ancient artifacts, the world's drought conditions have revealed some incredible secrets in recent years. In Europe, the receding waters of the Danube River uncovered dozens of Nazi warships that had been hidden for decades. In China's Yangtze River, drought conditions revealed three Buddhist statues that have been hidden from sight. Even in Nevada's Lake Mead, human bodies and sunken ships have emerged from the depths as water levels have dropped. In 2020, a severe drought in Texas uncovered 113 million year old dinosaur tracks in Dinosaur Valley State Park. These tracks, which are usually covered by the Paluxy River, have not been visible since the year 2000. The tracks belong to two different species of dinosaurs that once roamed the area. Most of the tracks in the park belong to Acrocanthosaurus, the dinosaur that stood up to 15 feet tall and weighed up to 7 tons as an adult. The other species that left tracks behind in the park was Sauroposidon, which grew to 60 feet tall and weighed up to 44 tons as an adult. The drought conditions in Texas have caused the river in the park to dry out completely in most spots, revealing the dinosaur tracks that have been hidden for over two decades. It's genuinely fascinating to see what the Earth can reveal when drought conditions expose long-hidden secrets. Unfortunately, these drought conditions are not just a natural occurrence. The human-caused climate crisis has increased the potential for more frequent and dramatic swings in periods of drought and high precipitation. In fact, just this week, flash flooding has hit the Dallas area. It's clear that our planet is changing, and it's up to us to take action and protect our environment for future generations. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Hidden Bridge of Nero in 2022, a severe drought in Italy exposed an ancient bridge reportedly built by the infamous Roman Emperor Nero, which is usually submerged under the waters of the Tiber River. The bridge, called Pons Neronianus, is made of stone remains and is visible only when the water level of the Tiber falls, which it has due to the current drought conditions. Emperor Nero, who ruled from AD 54 to 68, was known for his controversial reign. Despite his success in building public structures and winning military victories, he neglected politics and focused on his passion for the arts, music, and chariot races. The construction of his golden palace, or Domus Aurea, in the center of Rome drained Rome's coffers, and he killed his mother and at least one of his wives. Nero struggled to rebuild Rome after a massive fire destroyed the city in AD 64 and he killed himself at the age of 30 after being declared a public enemy by the Roman Senate. Although the origins of the Pons Neronianus are uncertain, it's believed to be a reconstruction of an earlier crossing, given that a bridge likely existed here before Nero's reign. The bridge was built on a tight bend in a floodplain, which was not a good idea as the river bends tend to wander and change shape, making the banks prone to losing contact with bridge abutments. Nevertheless, the bridge had some military and religious importance for Rome. Number 18. 400-Year-Old Church A 16th-century church is surfaced from the waters of the Nitzahuacoyotl Reservoir in Chiapas State, Mexico. The Temple of Santiago in Nueva Quechula was found to be flooded during the construction of a dam almost 40 years ago. However, extreme drought has caused the water levels to fall 82 feet, revealing the church in all its glory once again. It's not the first time the church has appeared, as a small drought revealed it in 2002. At that time, visitors were even able to walk through the temple. The church was built in the 16th century by a group of monks, hoping it would become a thriving population center, but it never quite achieved that. The site was probably never even assigned a dedicated priest, only receiving visits from those from Tecpatan. Despite this, the church's significance in the local history remains and it's a unique experience for visitors to get a glimpse of its past. Now, whenever the church reappears, local boatmen and fishermen take advantage of the opportunity, offering boat tours near the church. It's fascinating to see how the church's fate has been intertwined with the reservoir's water levels. 
It's not every day that you get to see such an unexpected discovery, so if you're in the area, make sure to take a boat tour and witness the remarkable history of this submerged church. Number 17. Ancient Buddhist Statues As the drought and heat waves swept across China's southwestern region in 2022, the plunging water levels of the Yangtze River uncovered a submerged island in the city of Chongqing, revealing a hidden treasure that has been concealed beneath the water for centuries. The island, called Foye Liang, was found to house a trio of Buddhist statues believed to be over 600 years old. The three figures were located on the highest part of the island reef, and one of them depicted a monk sitting on a lotus petal. Foye Liang is a significant discovery as it sheds light on the rich cultural history of the Ming and Qing dynasties, during which the island is believed to have been built. This discovery also provides a unique glimpse into the spread of Buddhism in China, which has a long and complex history. Buddhism first entered China in the Han Dynasty around the 1st century AD. The religion quickly gained popularity, and by the Tang Dynasty, it had become a prominent part of Chinese culture. During this period, numerous Buddhist temples were built across the country, many of which still exist today. The discovery of the Buddhist statues on Foye Liang is a reminder of the religion's deep roots in China and its enduring legacy. Number 16. World War II Remnant even though the two world wars happened many decades ago, remnants of those wars still remain to this day. In 2022, a 1,000-pound bomb from World War II was found on the banks of the River Po in Italy by a group of fishermen. This discovery was made possible because large sections of the 400-mile river have dried up due to Italy's worst drought in 70 years. The discovery of this bomb is a reminder of the devastating effects of war and its long-lasting consequences on communities. It's shocking to think that after so many years, a bomb can still be found in a river, waiting to be discovered by chance. To ensure everyone's safety, about 3,000 people who live nearby were evacuated for the disposal operation. Additionally, the area's airspace was shut down, and navigation along that stretch of the waterway as well as traffic on a railway line and state road close by were halted. It's essential to take all necessary precautions when dealing with these dangerous relics from the past. Number 15. Spanish Stonehenge In 2022, the heat wave in Spain revealed something unexpected. As the water levels in the Valdecanas Reservoir in the central province of Caceres dropped to 28% of capacity, something surprising was revealed. A prehistoric stone circle called the Dolmen of Guadalpero, which had been submerged in the reservoir since 1963, finally showed itself to the rest of the world. The Dolmen of Guadalpero, also known as the Spanish Stonehenge, is believed to date back to 5000 BC and is a circle of dozens of megalithic stones. The circle is a Bronze Age sepulcher used for religious ceremonies and precise sun sightings. It's a stunning structure and is only the fifth time since 1963 that it's been fully exposed. The Dolmen was deliberately flooded in 1963 as part of a rural development project, but due to the country's worst drought in decades, the water levels in the reservoir have receded, revealing the magnificent dolmen once again. The circle is made up of 144 jagged granite standing stones, many of which are no longer standing. The stones, also called menhirs, are up to 6 feet tall and bolstered by a massive capstone set in a tumulus, or a mound of earth and pebbles. The dolmen of Guadalperil is as much as 2,000 years older than its Celtic cousin on the Salisbury Plain in England making it an even more significant discovery. The emergence of this Bronze Age sepulcher is a significant archaeological discovery that can help us understand the lives and cultures of our ancestors. Number 14. Human Remains in Lake Mead In 2022, a series of skeletal remains were discovered in Lake Mead, marking the fifth set of remains found that year as water levels in the lake receded. The remains were located near the Swim Beach area of the lake, which sits between Nevada and Arizona and park rangers worked to recover them. Lake Mead had experienced a drastic drop in water levels to less than a quarter full, which severely threatened hydroelectric power production at the Hoover Dam on the Nevada-Arizona border. That year, as water levels reached their lowest point since the reservoir was first filled, a number of human remains, sunken boats, trash, and baby strollers were found on the edge of the lake. Yikes! Scientists noted that the U.S. West including the Colorado River Basin, had become warmer and drier over the past 30 years, which contributed to the declining water levels in Lake Mead. Number 13. 
3,400-year-old city. In 2022, Iraq faced its worst drought in decades. Due to the lack of rainfall and poor resource management, the communities that relied on the Tigris and Euphrates rivers were left without the water they needed to survive. To save crops from dying out, authorities decided to drain part of the Mosul Dam Reservoir in Iraq's Kurdistan region in January of that year. It seemed like the drought did give the communities something worthwhile. To everyone's surprise, when the water receded, an ancient city emerged from the drained area. With just a few days to explore the site before the waters returned, archaeologists were able to map what they believe was a major city in the Mitanni Empire that was built 3,400 years ago. The people in the region knew that the city existed when the dam was constructed in the 1980s, but they had never thoroughly explored the buildings and artifacts that survived the city's destruction in an earthquake around 1350 BCE. However, parts of the city resurfaced during a major drought in 2018, and archaeologists briefly explored a lost palace with massive 22-foot-high walls, some six feet thick, and discovered remains of wall paintings in vibrant colors. Archaeologists were able to get a better picture of what the ancient city might have looked like by mapping numerous large buildings and uncovering hundreds of artifacts. Among the structures were an industrial complex, a fortification with a wall and towers, and a multi-story storage building. Despite being submerged for over 400 years, many of the walls were well-preserved, reaching almost 10 feet high and made of sun-dried mud. This preservation is likely due to the earthquake that destroyed the city turning the upper parts of the walls into rubble and burying and protecting the lower parts of the city for centuries. Five ceramic vessels containing over 100 cuneiform tablets were also found and are astonishingly well-preserved, some still in their clay envelopes. It's possible that the site is the ancient city of Zakiku, a major hub in the Mitanni Empire, which lasted from approximately 1500 to 1350 BCE. The empire was one of several kingdoms and states founded by the Indo-Iranians in Mesopotamia and Syria, extending from the Zagros Mountains to the Mediterranean Sea. Number 12. The Longyu Caves Not a lot of people know, but the Longyu Caves in China were actually discovered in a pretty bizarre way. In the 1990s, a farmer was draining a pond to expand his farm when he stumbled upon something incredible. It turned out to be an entrance to an underground cave system that nobody knew existed before. The caves were massive, covering an area of around 30,000 square meters and had an estimated age of over 2,000 years. 24 caverns were discovered, and most of them were about 100 feet underground. What's even more fascinating is that the caves were completely man-made. Archaeologists believed that the caves were dug out by hand, using just simple tools like chisels and hammers over a period of 30 years. How crazy is that? And the thing is, nobody knows why they were created or who created them. So many questions remain. Why is there no evidence of their construction? And where did the excavated rock go? Many archaeologists believe the caves were used as granaries, while others believe they were built for military purposes. Despite their mystery, the Longyu Caves have been a popular tourist attraction and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And the entire site is all thanks to a curious farmer who wanted to expand his farm. Number 11. Submerged Forest Now this place isn't exactly a discovery, but this magical place is definitely underrated. Who knows? You might have just discovered the next place on your bucket list. Have you ever heard of a place called the Green Lake or Gruner Sea in Austria? It's a truly magical park that transforms into a stunning emerald green lake during the summer months. Nestled in the Styria region at the foothills of Hochschwab, this natural beauty is a beautiful example of how Mother Nature can surprise us with amazing phenomena. During winter, the lake basin is only a couple of meters deep, and the surrounding area is perfect for picnics, relaxation, and leisurely strolls in the woods. However, when spring arrives and temperatures rise, glaciers from the surrounding area begin to melt. The water then penetrates the ground and flows into the basin below, creating the Green Lake, a natural seasonal lake. As the months pass, the lake can reach a maximum depth of 12 meters, with temperatures ranging between 40 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 10. Thai Temple In 2019, an extraordinary discovery was made in central Thailand when a drought caused water levels in a dam reservoir to drop to record lows, exposing a submerged Buddhist temple. 
Wat Nong Bui Yai, a modern temple that has been submerged during the dam's construction 20 years ago, was finally visible on the dry ground in the middle of the reservoir as the water level dropped below 3% capacity. The discovery created a buzz among the locals who had heard about the temple, but never had the opportunity to see it for themselves. During the drought, Buddhist monks joined hundreds of others who walked through the broken temple structures on cracked earth, littered with dead fish, to pay respects to a headless 13-foot-tall Buddha statue that was adorned with flowers. Although he regretted the temple flooding, one of the monks expressed concerns about the damage the drought was causing to farmland. The discovery of Wat Nong Bui Yai has not only amazed the locals, but has also attracted tourists from far and wide intrigued by the submerged temple. Number 9. Casino River Boat What's more impressive than discovering an entire shipwreck in a local river? In 2022, due to an ongoing drought, water levels have dropped drastically, revealing many intriguing items that have been submerged for years. One of the latest finds is an old casino riverboat known as the Diamond Lady. The Diamond Lady had its first voyage in the 1990s, but it was decommissioned just a few years later and replaced with a bigger riverboat. The ship had been sitting empty and unseen for years before it was hit by a storm in 2021, which caused it to sink. When the water receded due to the drought, the Diamond Lady resurfaced and became visible again. The vessel isn't completely submerged, and it's still possible to see the third deck above the waterline. The areas above the waterline, though, still retain their original white color. It must have been quite the sight when the boat was still functional. While exploring the Diamond Lady may seem exciting, it is an extremely dangerous idea. Firstly, the ship is stuck in wet and unstable mud. One wrong move and it could easily topple over. Secondly, it's hard to predict the condition of the ship's floors, which could be damaged, rotting, or otherwise unsound. Number 8. Italian Village Lake Rescia is a stunning body of water surrounded by majestic snow-capped mountains in northern Italy. The lake appears to be nothing out of the ordinary until you spot a peculiar structure, a 14th century bell tower that rises out of the water's depth. This tower hints at the unusual history of the lake, the submerged Italian village of Curran. The government flooded the village in 1950 to create an artificial lake. Recently, in 2021, construction crews drained a portion of the lake, exposing remnants of the sunken village for the first time in 70 years. Curran is located in South Tyrol, a beautiful mountainous region that intersects Italy, Austria, and Switzerland. During World War II, officials created a design for a hydroelectric plant that would provide power to the surrounding areas. However, the plan required flooding Curran, and almost 150 families comprising around 1,000 individuals were forced to leave their homes due to the construction of the dam. It's fascinating to think about what life must have been like in the submerged village, and it's heartbreaking to consider how many families lost their homes due to the project. But it was for the greater good. Number 7. Ruins of a Roman Castle These ancient Roman ruins were among the many things revealed by the insane heat wave that swept the continent of Europe in 2022. Major drought hit the area, and once the reservoir lowered to 49% capacity, this site and other abandoned ruins in the area became visible. The complex, named Aquis Quirquenis, was initially built as a military camp and could accommodate up to 600 Roman soldiers. The extensive site featured numerous barracks, two granaries, a hospital, a temple, and even thermal baths. The ancient Roman complex dates back to 75 AD and it was discovered along the banks of the Lima River in the Galicia region of Spain. Number 6. Elusive Roman Forts and Roads During the 2018 heat wave in Wales, about 200 Roman forts, roads, military camps, and villas were discovered all across the country. Experts say these Roman finds are crucial in understanding how Wales was conquered and ruled 2,000 years ago. The military camps, for example, would have served as defensive positions for the troops, while Roman officials may have used the villas. Some sites also included bread ovens and kitchens, indicating they were used for more than just defense. During the Roman conquest of Wales, it was still a dangerous place for troops, as they were constantly under attack. These discoveries give us a glimpse into what life was like during this period of history. Number 5. The Hunger Stones in 2022, an extreme drought in Europe exposed several of the most terrifying markers left behind by our ancestors, the Hunger Stones. 
One of these artifacts is a rock in the Elbe River near the town of Dechin, which bears the inscription, If you see me, then weep. This is one of the dozens of so-called hunger stones in Central European rivers that were engraved to mark their levels during historic droughts and warn future generations of the famine and hardship that could follow. These hunger stones are incredibly horrifying, but they're also practical reminders that our world is continuously changing. Number 4. World War II Shipwrecks In the summer of 2022, Europe experienced an intense heat wave and severe drought leading to receding water levels along the Danube River. The river's water levels reached one of their lowest points in almost a century. In some area near Budapest, the water level fell five feet in three weeks, causing concerns over the nation's water supply. However, the receding water levels also exposed something else. Nearly two dozen sunken ships from the German army during World War II. The resurfaced ships were mainly from World War II, and still contained ammunition and explosives, posing a potential danger. The hulks of the newly exposed ships have also narrowed usable stretches of the Danube by about 200 feet, making navigation through the area more challenging. Fortunately, everything was cleared and cleaned up safely. Number 3. 400-Year-Old Stonework in Poland In 2012, a historical treasure trove of elaborate marble stonework which sank to the bottom of Poland's Vistula River four centuries ago, resurfaced after drought and record low water levels exposed the masonry lying in the mud on the riverbed. The masonry, large blocks of carved marble that were used in the columns, fountains, and staircases of Polish palaces, was part of a collection looted by Swedish invaders during the 17th century from Poland's rulers and loaded onto barges to transport home. But the vessel sank, sending the treasure to the bottom of the river. Experts knew about the artifacts, but retrieving them was difficult since they were under several feet of water. Now, however, the masonry lies exposed, covered only in a coating of foul-smelling yellow mud. Low rainfall over the past few months has brought the Vistula, Poland's longest river, to its lowest level in 200 years. As a result, the receding water has also received relics from Warsaw's bloody history during World War II, including the Jewish population that was wiped out the city's resistance against occupation, and the Soviet Red Army's arrival and imposition of its rule. Number 2. Lost Castle In 2021, a lost castle resurfaced in Turkey due to droughts that have caused the water levels of the Kaban Dam Lake to recede to record lows. Aztec Castle, which was carved in the mountain along the Euphrates River, had been submerged since 1974 when the dam started holding water. This elusive structure can only be accessed by boat, but that hasn't stopped historians and tourists from jumping at the chance to explore this hidden treasure. The castle has several rooms connected by long and narrow galleries that were carved into the bedrock deep into the lake. Loopholes were added to allow sunlight and air in, which also proved helpful in keeping an eye out for potential enemies. The emergence of this lost castle is a small benefit to the otherwise harsh conditions that much of the country has been battling due to a lack of rainfall this year which the Turkish government has deemed catastrophic. It's fascinating to think that there are still hidden gems like Hastek Castle waiting to be discovered. The fact that this structure was carved into the mountain is impressive and shows the skill and dedication of those who built it. It's incredible to imagine what life must have been like for those who lived there and how they managed to live in such a secluded location. And now it's time for today's topic. When authorities drained this 200-year-old canal, what they found at the bottom was extraordinary. Did you know that Canal Saint-Martin in Paris has existed for over 200 years? And every 10 to 15 years, it's drained and cleaned, revealing some strange and interesting finds. In 2016, the canal was drained again, and what they discovered was quite surprising. From shopping carts and old bicycles, to a toilet bowl, and even a World War I shell, the canal held some unexpected treasures. But the most bizarre discovery? bone fragments, and skeletons. Now isn't that horrifying? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. Treasure-Filled Tomb The severe drought over the summer of 2022 caused the water level to drop significantly, exposing a forgotten ancient burial ground of Lianhuaao Island. The site contained nine tombs and five ash pits with a rectangular design. Though poorly preserved, 
archaeologists found some treasures like stone axes dating back to the Neolithic age, porcelain from the Tang and Song dynasties, and blue-green pottery from the Ming and Qing dynasties. Lianhuaao Island is located in the southern part of Dongting Lake, around 680 miles southwest of Shanghai. The drought that struck Dongting Lake was one of the most severe in China in the past 60 years, according to the Institute of Archaeology at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Because of the drought, the lakefront beaches became more extended, and small islands became bigger, providing locals with more space to stretch out and enjoy the sun. However, the water levels continued to drop, and authorities stumbled upon the ancient tomb while doing a field survey on one of the islands. The tomb's rectangular design was long and skinny, with some graves placed side by side, and the burial site was poorly preserved. Despite this, archaeologists discovered stone axes from the Neolithic Age, which dates back to around 10,000 BC, according to Britannica. The tombs were weathered, and the treasures found inside were worn down. The pottery found near the tombs was from the Tang, Song, Ming, and Qing dynasties, which spanned several centuries from 618 AD until the early 1910s. Lianhuaao Island may have been inhabited 12,000 years ago, according to archaeologists. Still, it was also inhabited much more recently during the various dynasties that ruled China. It's fascinating to think about what else might be hidden beneath the waters of Dongting Lake. So what do you think about these discoveries? Let me know about your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.